According to Zim, life is a combination of mind, name, and matter, Rupa. Mind consists of the combination of sensations, perceptions, volitional activity, activities and consciousness. Matter consists of the combination of the four elements of solidity, fluidity, motion and heat. Life is the coexistence of mind and matter. Decay is the lack of coordination of mind and matter. Death is the separation of mind and matter. Rebirth is the recombination of mind and matter. After the passing away of the physical body, matter, the mental forces, mind, recombine and assume a new combination in a different material form and condition in other existence. The relation of mind to matter is like the relation of a battery to an engine of a motor car. The battery helps to start the engine. The engine helps to charge the battery. The combination helps to run the motor car. In the same manner, matter helps the mind to function and the mind helps to set matter in motion. Buddhism teaches that life is not the property of matter alone, and that the life process continues or flows as a result of cause and effect. The mental and material elements that compose sentient beings from amoeba to elephant and also to man, existed previously in other forms. Although some people hold the view that life originates in matter alone, the greatest scientists have accepted that mind precedes matter in order for life to originate. In Buddhism, this concept is called relinking consciousness. Each of us, in the ultimate sense, is mind and matter, a compound of mental and material phenomena, and nothing more. Apart from these realities that go to form the Namarupa compound, there is no self, or soul. The mind part of the compound is what experiences an object. The matter part does not experience anything. When the body is injured, it is not the body that feels the pain, but the mental side. When we are hungry it is not the stomach that feels the hunger out again the mind. However, mind cannot eat the food to ease the hunger. The mind and its factors, makes the body digest the food. Thus neither the Nama nor the Rupa has any efficient power of its own. One is dependent on the other, one supports the other. Both mind and matter arise because of conditions and perish immediately, and this is happening every moment of our lives. By studying and experiencing these realities we will get insight into, 1, what we truly are, 2, what we find around us, 3, how and why we react to what is within and around us, and, 4, what we should aspire to reach as a spiritual goal. To gain insight into the nature of the psychophysical life, is to realize that life is an illusion, a mirage or a bubble. A mere process of becoming and dissolving, or arising and passing away. Whatever exists, arises from causes and conditions.